Okay, here's the procedure um, that makes the turtle draw regular polygons. What's a regular polygon? Well, let's see, for example, um, I've cleared the graphics screen, and now I'm going to say polygon 100. That's how many steps the turtle is to take, and 3, which is how many sides the figure the turtle is making has to have. So, we get a triangle. So let's look at the procedure. Here's polygon dot step dot sides. <clears throat> the command which I think you've run into when you've made triangles or squares just shortens the code. You say repeat the number of sides the figure is to have um, the following instructions. Forward the step which is the length of the side, write 360 divided by the number of sides, which is how many sides there ought to be, and say end. So let's see, I'm going to clear the graphic screen and change 3 to 4, and that should give us a square. It does, okay? I'm going to change it to 5, and this should make a pentagon. There it is. Okay, I'm going to clear the graphics and change the 5 to a 6 so we get a hexagon. Good, it's working. Okay, clear the graphics and now have the number be 7, so a 7 sided figure um, is a hep gone. Well, see, oh, it's wrapped around, so I, what I want to do here is make this si each side a little bit smaller. So I will change it to, um, let's make it 70. So I'm going to go up here, whoops, and clear the graphic screen and then say poly 77. Ah, now it fits. So, um, and now I'll clear the graphic screen and change the 7 to an 8, and this should give us an octagon. Ah, I forgot to change. Isn't that interesting? Look what I did. I forgot to change this first input to 70. Okay, so now we'll do it. And there is an octagon. And clear the graphic screen. And I have one more. This time I'm going to be right on top of things and change this to 70 and make a nonagon. 